Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your thinking caps because today we're journeying into the ancient realm of logic, using our time machine to reach back over 2,300 years to ancient Greece. There, in bustling Athens, we'll rendezvous with one of the world's greatest philosophers, the one and only Aristotle. His party trick? A theory called the principle of non-contradiction. It might sound a bit lofty, but it's pretty simple and fundamentally critical to how we understand and interact with the world around us. Now, imagine Aristotle as a magic-wielding philosopher, his weapon of choice, logic. And this principle, my friends, is the Excalibur of his logical weaponry. Here it is, in all its glory. Something cannot be both true and not true at the same time in the same respect. Sounds like a no-brainer, right? The cookie can't be in the jar and also not in the jar, at least not at the same time. You can't simultaneously be reading this and not reading this. These situations seem to defy our shared reality. But as simple as it seems, this principle is one of the pillars that underpin logical thought and reasoning. But why? To put it bluntly, Aristotle argues, without the principle of non-contradiction, we'd be plunging into a world of chaos and uncertainty. Imagine a world where you could be a human and not a human simultaneously, or a dog that's both alive and not alive. In such a world, communication, science, and logic would fall apart. It'd be like trying to play chess on a board that constantly changes shapes, with pieces that mutate every other turn. Not much fun, right? Aristotle saw this principle as self-evident, not needing to be proved, because in essence, to deny it would be to affirm it. Picture someone trying to argue against it. The principle of non-contradiction isn't valid, they might say. But wait, in saying that, they're asserting a statement that they believe to be true and not untrue, in line with the principle they're trying to discredit. Their own argument crumbles under its weight, creating a sort of self-imposed logical checkmate. However, just because it seems like common sense doesn't mean it hasn't been challenged. Philosophers love to ponder, question, and debate. In the 20th century, some thinkers, known as dialotheists, have taken a swing at Aristotle's cherished principle, arguing that there are some paradoxes where something can be both true and false at the same time. Consider the classic example, the liar paradox, where someone says, I am lying. If their statement is true, then they're lying, making it false. If it's false, then they're telling the truth, making it true. Despite these philosophical brain twisters, the principle of non-contradiction stands tall in most logical, scientific, and everyday contexts. It helps to ensure that our statements and beliefs are consistent and non-conflicting, that we're not saying the sky is both blue and not blue at the same time. So there we have it. We've met the titan of logic, Aristotle, and his mightiest weapon, the principle of non-contradiction. This principle may seem self-evident, but its implications run deep, providing a secure foundation for us to build our understanding of the world. Without it, we're lost in a sea of paradox and uncertainty a place where even philosophers fear to tread.